executive, Canary Wharf, with me now. Sir, as long as I can remember, Canary Wharf has been reinventing itself. I mean, it went, the thing went bankrupt in the 90s. It's been difficult throughout. Why are you more hopeful of success this time? I think three main reasons. To your point, Canary Wharf started 35 years ago. Eight years ago, we started building residential. And actually, three years ago, we went on a big push of sustainability, amenities, and health and life sciences. And the Canary Wharf now has transformed itself into a really mixed-use, vibrant neighborhood. Can you get it to be mixed-use? It is mixed-use. Can, can you get more mixed-use, I suppose? A absolutely. So what people don't realize is that we've already built eight residential towers. They're all full. Um, we've got another eight under construction. So that residential community not only exists on Canary Wharf, but around the surrounding docks of South Key. Can you make yourself more attractive than, quote, Docklands per se? Um, you know, to, 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 that's really what you need to do, or you want to do, isn't it? You want it not just to be, oh, I live in Docklands, but I live in Canary Wharf. Absolutely. And actually, the people that live in Canary Wharf are paying a premium over the people that are in the South Key Docklands. Why? We've got amenities, we've got water, we've got biodiversity, and we've got a safe and secure estate. And that rent premium of people wanting that, it's all here. Listen to what Jeff Lau, who you know, who's the CEO of Related, told me in New York recently about property prices and the sort of office buildings that are going there. Have a listen. The demand for our new product, the Class AA office space, is incredible like it's never been before. The question is, are people going to want to go back to these older buildings that aren't built for today's kind of modern office environment? And then you even have the class. So those class B buildings, I would say people aren't coming back. So if we look at your buildings, they look great, but they were built 20 years ago. So how are you, are, do, where, what would you class them as now? What, what needs to be done to them? Those that you own, obviously you don't own them all. All our buildings are, uh, the UK has passed an EPC rating of how green your building is sustainable. All our meaning, buildings meet that code. And so we've been investing over the time in upgrading the lighting, the water, the filtration systems, all that has been done. And so in fact, Citibank moved into 40 Bank Street. They took over almost 200,000 square feet there. Is the battle, does the battle still ro uh, royal go between the city and the financial east, if you will, Canary Wharf, Docklands? I think the financial ba battle is between the best A buildings and the rest of the market as Jeff talked about. Corporates are all moving to the best in class that has the great, not only the light and air, but the sustainable features. There's a green premium and there's a brown discount. And that market has continued to bifurcate and will continue to bifurcate. And it's harder, of course, for the city to, uh, to, to get those newer elements, isn't it? Just to be old buildings riddled with asbestos or whatever, and you can't put you can't make them as sustainable. Exactly. The filtration, the water, the lighting, I mean that's where and that's where the market is. The vacancy rate for that that kind of premium product is very, very low. Canary Wharf, thank you very much. Sir. Um, we look forward to coming and doing the program from the wharf. The views are spectacular. My pleasure. We'll I'll be opening up that middle dock where we swam this year, and you're invited to come and see that opening. I say, you know me. When invited, I'll turn up. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. Thank Very you, good Richard. to see you.